And my heart Why? can't. I literally can't. My heart- I will die. I will literally die. I will become one of those ghosts. I will cry. I will scream. And I'll I, cry harder. That's exactly why it's perfect. I don't I see no, a no, problem. No, 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 no I don't no. see a problem at all. Yeah, that's not, that's exactly why we should do it. No, 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 no. We can't. Emotional. Emotionally, I can't. Anyways, can I start? Still sounds like a great reason. Are we recording? We're live. Hello, everyone. My name is Mark Plyer, and welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Just kidding. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Monster Prom Camp Edition. We are here today with Yui, Sin, myself, and my cat, Kit. All right. Are we, are we, we all ready? ready? That sounded very fancy. Now my cat's licking his balls on the table. <laughs> as soon as I introduced him. All right. I think we're ready. All right. Short game. Woohoo. Let's see. Said 70 minutes. That's 20 minutes shorter than the last one said, which means it's going to take only uh, one hour instead of two. Oh, do we still need to read the narrator? Oh, right. Yeah, that's my job, ain't it? Yes, yes. Ah. Uh, no, the cat's leaving! It's good. Okay, sorry, continue. No, hey! Not good! Ah, uh, Camp Spooky. The stage of some of our dearest summers. Back then, we were young and unafraid. That sounds familiar. <laughs> With school far away, Everything, everything seemed possible as the sun embraced us on our way to camp. Summer has that distinct power, doesn't it? You live for the days while the nights inebriate you with possibilities. It's like life could take a turn at every corner. And for us, it did. And I will pick why I picked last time. Let's go with oh. the yellow man. Mm-hmm for no reason in particular. Oh, what's this? Starting items. Starting wow. items. You can get a piñata floaty. So we have Griffin Pasta, the multi-tool, the smallest violin, piñata pool toy, recorder, <laughs> <laughs> Uranium li lipstick. Uh, cosplaying someone from California. <laughs> what? Mitch okay. Griffin. MC Griffin EP. Ah, MC Griffin. Ah, I was gonna say Mick Griffin. Not MC. I, uh... The Sword of Roar, King of the Lions. You know what? Jesus, take surprised. the wheel. Looks like you're California. Oh, wow. All right. Oops. Skibbity do. Spop. Okay, good enough. Summer will be <gasps> A kitty! <clears throat> Magma trekking boots. Wood carving machete. Tardigrade plushie. <laughs> dragon heart. <laughs> that's, a, that's a heat. Coral comb, philosopher stone growing kit. Oh, don't mind if I do. Yeah. Bootleg Juan, north facing moss, and lag. <laughs> oh, <laughs> pocket therapist, just what everyone needs. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wait, why is it not working? Hello, mouse. Oh, okay, we got it. Joe eh. eh, eh, eh. usually controls this for me. I'm so bad. Hold on. Uh, we have a sketchbook, magma trekking boots, a spooky campfire stories, a Pokemon TCG, um, Satanist kit. Uh, I wonder, I think I know who might like that sock pocket. Magic mushroom sky, human wool sweater, and uranium lipstick. Okay, bold. Bold. And what else would be bold? Do you think? I hope he still likes bold stuff. You really so, are going for Damien, I aren't you? I see in that sketchbook a very familiar image of someone in <gasps> oh, Yes! No, but that doesn't count. Too bad. <laughs> Get godded, kid. <laughs> <laughs> One might say that the monster prom had hardened us on the highs and lows of love. But no, in love we're always absolute beginners. And summer camp was no different. 
No one talked about it. But the idea of a summer love loomed over our heads. Here they are. <clears throat> Close to last day of camp, there was a meteor shower happening just two weeks away. Everyone knew that if you were right, nope, if you were into someone, you were going to watch that damn thing together. And so, a silent let yet powerful pressure invaded us. It was the monster prom all over again. Everything seemed uncertain. Everything but one thing. Whoever we were asking on a meteor shower date, it was probably going to be one of the six coolest people on that bus. Joy Johnson Jojima, ah, 23, a badass witch who wanted to chill a bit after saving the world countless times. Aravia oh. Mishra, a hot-headed adventurer possessed by a curse who had turned out to be the most annoying roommate ever. Calculester Hewlett Packard. Version 1.1. 1. 1. 1. <laughs> <laughs> A library computer who had become a sentient robot, ready to experience life to its fullest. Dahlia Aquino, 20. A buff blue demon and warmonger who had set her sights on conquering summer next. <laughs> Jesus Christ. 21. <laughs> My goodness. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. And Milo Belladonna, 23 possibly. A Death Reaper doubling as an internet influencer. And oh, God. In love with life and all its earthly pleasures. Yeah, you know, he did be looking good, too. The bus trip was long, and all of summer could be shaped by the first step well taken. And so it was clear. It all came down to breaking the ice and causing a good impression with the right person. Time to break the ice! Which book would you take to a deserted island? My microwave manual? The Art of War? Famous Last Words? Guides to Speedrunning Life? A Little Very Angry Prince? And the interview with the Very Sexy Vampire? Peace was never an option. <laughs> great book, great book. Hmm. That is a great book! I'm gonna have to pick that too. Mm. Now everyone's picking this. You don't have to bandwagon. Bandwagon. Oh no, the fire! <laughs> hey, I love the art of war. <laughs> I adopted a lot of his rules and teachings into my everyday life. Why did I bandwagon? I mean, it was pretty obvious there were six options. <laughs> and the only other time there was six options in the other I game. I thought Damien you know. would like war! After okay. it said she was a warmonger? She, it said she was a warmonger? I honestly yes. wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention until I got to Damien. Wow. <laughs> you do my voice in dirty like that? No, I was listening, but I was like more attentive with, da with Damien. So you weren't listening. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, continue. Specifically, making my everyday life its own battlefield. And Kemp will be no different. You, Sin, and Shini, what do you say to a light battle to the death once we get to camp? The winner gets the best prize of all. My personal interest. <clears throat> we only had two weeks left to woo our crushes and conquer their hearts. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Again, sounds pretty familiar with that phrase. Oh gosh, and this time they only give you one question. Yeah, who do you want? <laughs> I have to work my way to get to Damien now. Okay, it's time. It's a battle, I'm never- bad bandwagon! <laughs> Alright, let's see. No money this time. Oh, can't be rich this time, okay. Does it's because that... Vera isn't here. Oh, so yeah. there's... Thank you, sexist. I'm guessing there's no shop? Well, it's just because Vera was very, oh, yeah. very... Clearly, like... there's no shop. 
<laughs> Maybe the the shop will come in later because I don't think it was on the first day either. No, well, but I the shop needed money. Mixing drinks instead of the shop. Oh, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. But that's true, the shop didn't need money. Maybe right. this time you have to pay with your actual stats. Yeah. Or there's just no shop at all. They said nope. So what do you want to raise? Hmm. Poison I... your pick. I'm not bold, but I am charm and fun. You are charm and fun. I have no idea who I'm even going for. Good. You could uh, go for the girl, since you got more... We already got that boost wow. with her. Wow. Just because it's a girl, that's sexist. And <laughs> no, I'm just saying because you Are you, you saying her. because her costume <laughs> is an Oni that no. we should go after her? No, How no, no. Oh, I'm saying is we picked her so she can be easier to get. Because we already <sighs> won her affection with our beautiful question. That's it. I, I love how I didn't even argue it, and yeah, yeah. Sin <laughs> argued on my behalf. Of course. I'm just saying it's a lead. Um, which one's boldness? Bold is the the red the little where oh, the house is. Oh, the sunglasses. Uh, wait, they're all technically houses, huh? Yeah, the sunglasses. It should be the manor. The manor. Let's go. Oh, that's scary. While wandering the haunted manor, you're ambushed by a group of evil spirits. You put up a good fight, but there's just too many of them. And they run away with your immortal soul. Dun dun dun! Luckily, you always knew that this day would come, and you replace your immortal soul with a beanie baby years ago. Oh yes. Good foresight on your part. You gain plus two boldness. Hey, you! Get your sorry ass in here. We found a room in the manor that isn't haunted, somehow. You follow Dahlia into her room, only to find that it's fucking crawling with ghosts. Oh, don't worry about them. This is just where all the ghosts go when, they are, when they're on breaks. No spooky stuff at all. Yeah, and I'm taking advantage of their relaxation by killing them for bonus EXP. <laughs> hey, I thought we said we weren't gonna fight any ghosts in this room. We did say that, but action speaks louder than words, Joy. My therapist taught me that. Aww. Guys, there's writing on the window over there. You didn't tell me that there'd be reading in this room, at least. It's written in blood. That's kind of cool. Okay. I know what you did last summer, huh? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means I know what you did last summer. Oh, phew. It's just the knife guy. Hey, knife guy. Do you know what the writing on the windows is about? My name is Jerry, not like Knife Guy. And you can't just ask me to tell you what you did last summer. You did it. You should know. Went to monster camp. But if you also <laughs> know, shouldn't you be able to tell us? What specific thing are you referring to? Ugh. You guys just don't get it. You're supposed to frantically ask yourselves that question before dramatically remembering the answer right before I stab you. Here, maybe it'll help if I stab you all a lot. Ugh. I can't believe you don't remember. So rude. You hate to be rude and also to be stabbed. Luckily, you're pretty sure you know that for what event from last summer Jerry is referring to. I totally butchered that, but whatever. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He obviously means the two-week period where you got really into anteater documentaries. Oh. His birthday. You forgot Jerry's birthday. 
Yeah. Is that true, Jerry? No, oh, poor Jerry. <laughs> oh, thank you. I love Jerry. When do we get a date, Jerry? Maybe he's a DLC or a um, secret. <laughs> One of those secret ending. characters. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it's like, I mean, I know I'm that. <laughs> I know I'm just this guy who's always trying to kill you at summer camp. But I'm also a person, you know. I have feelings, just like everyone else. Sometimes those feelings are excitement about stabbing, because I love stabbing. But sometimes there's feelings of loneliness because nobody remembers my birthday. Oh, Aww. <laughs> I even tried carving my birthday into my victim's bodies for a while. Like, a subtle hint. But the only people who cared were the cops. And not for the right reasons, you know? That's horrible. I don't know what I would do if someone forgot my birthday. Probably raise their village to the ground. Because that's what I did last time it happened. I get it. But my therapist says even the loneliest birthdays are an opportunity to celebrate ourselves. Do you celebrate? Yourself, Jerry? No, I never learned how. I've been so busy stabbing other people that I never learned how to stab. My own insecurities. Mm. Am I the only one who got a little creeped out that we're all standing around showing empathy for a serial murderer right now? Yep! Come on, guys, let's throw a birthday party for Jerry. <laughs> you burst. You burst out the party streamers <laughs> and fake blood and soon turned the haunted manor into a ver veritable. Ver veritable party utopia. Wow, guys. I I don't know what to say. You even made the cake in the shape of a dead guy. Just like I like it. The six of you, including Hex, have a wonderful time at the party. Even Joy grudgingly joins in a game of pin the knife on the teen. He'll probably go right back to murdering people after this is over, but you feel like you've done a good deed. That's because you have no morals. You do have plus two charm and plus one creativity though. Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, that was... Uh-huh. Interesting. 